Hi guys, FL Studio 21.1 has a newly introduced features and today I would want to share them with you. That is if you've not seen it already, but if you have, it is okay, you can skip. If today is your first time of coming across my channel, please do like, leave your comments. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. With that being said, let's dive right into what I have for you guys today. The first I'll be talking about is more on the side of assisting people that are struggling with uh, music theory and uh, this feature helps you to snap skills to grid so that even when you change the whole lay down on the midi to another scale it will sync and lock itself whereby helping you not to go through the hassle of trying to identify the skills in that key and all that but I will also encourage to make our time to research and study and practice more about music theory because I believe that when you have a hold on the fundamentals of music theory with this AI tool it will really help advance your production quality and also you know give you that edge over some other music producers in all, all I'm trying to say is you will really benefit when you have knowledge about the music theory and you now use AI tools to help enhance your production. So with that being said, let me quickly show you the two we are talking about. So let's head down to the piano row. And as you can see here, I have uh, a lay down already. So if you want to locate this two, it's either you come to this musical note icon here right click and it will pop up and over here you see the keys you can select and on the right you see the skills you can switch to so let's say we want to work on key of f and uh, scale of natural minor and before i continue i need to okay it's activated snap to scale so if you're dragging this as you can see if we put this on f it will rearrange the midi information to suit the scale which is key of f on a natural minor and as you're moving it as you can see the midi they are changing their shapes and all that so this is a very useful and helpful tool that i believe fl studio did amazingly well by introducing this so this is one way you can assess this tool by right clicking on this icon or you go to the file this icon here go to view and head down to scale highlighting so that's another way you can assess that so when you're done and maybe you don't want to use this tool again just make sure you click here to deactivate it so guys are uh, the best way to really understand this is to try it out yourself so i would suggest if you've not upgraded yet to fl studio 21.1 do so and try out all those things so you can have a first-hand uh, experience of what i'm talking about now uh the next we'll be looking at is still on the piano row now they have this uh integration with python scripting and it's all about helping you create melody and all that like the appregators the strums and all that so let me quickly show you how to assess it you just come to this ranch icon here and uh underneath here you can see they've added a progrator euclidean okay harmonizer notes repeater sprinkler uh select by velocity and more so let's just try out the a progrator once you click that you see a menu pops up i believe this helps you to set everything and if you don't like what it generated you can click on the regenerate you know it keeps creating new versions of the appregrator and after you're done you just accept so uh, make our time to do more research check what all these ones are for and uh and see it for yourself so the next we'll be talking about is the colorful waveform and that takes us to the playlist and according to the information on the site the said the blue color represents high frequencies the yellow represents the mid and the red magenta rep represents the low 
So which means it's easier now to identify what is what when you are in a mixing section or a production section. As you can see, this is the kick, an 808 kick, which is red in color. I didn't set anything. This is by default, just by turning on the colorful waveform, which I will show you how to do that shortly. So that's the kick. And here we have the high hats, which is in the high frequency, as you can see, is in blue, according to what they said. And uh, we look for a yellow one, is a snare. And as you can see, you can see a little bit of yellow in it, which is the mid. I think this is a very, very, very beautiful and uh, helpful tool to, you know, give you that easy identification of what is going on in your mix. You can now easily say, okay, this is the voice, this is the sub, this is the bass, this is the this, this is that, you know. So this is really good. Kudos to FL Studio for this. And if you want to activate this, you simply go to option, go to general, and over here you can see colorful waveform. If I turn it off, over here you see it's back to default. So if I turn it off, it's back. So that is how to activate that and before i go to the new plugin they introduced i read that they've also added a whole number of bug fixes you know which i'm not going to talk about and also they have this ai the clicker that you can find in a uh, edison right here by engaging this brush icon okay let's see i have this let me just record this and I need to increase this to create a declick. There we go. Uh, let me increase that more. Now we have this. So let's say you want to declick it. All you need to do is to go here, click on the brush icon. It will come up. You just activate this. So when you activate, it will request you to download it. Just click OK and get it downloaded. And it will declick it. And from what they wrote, they said it does a very nice job. And uh, that takes us to the new plugin they introduced. They called it Hyperchorus. Honestly speaking, I tried this out and trust me, this is an amazing chorus plugin that's you can use to achieve so many things in your mixing production whatever you want to do so let's have a listen to this sound here and see what uh the chorus the hyper chorus does to it so this is without it This is with it. I'm on headphone right now and trust me what I can feel inside my head right now it's super interesting and they also added a couple of presets you can also try out Whoa, wow so guys that is it about the newly introduced hyper chorus effect plugin so don't take it for what i'm saying just try these out yourself check them out and see how uh it can help you in your production and uh can let me know what you think in the comment section so that will be it for today guys stay creative guys you know stay focused and see you guys in the next one bye for now